This game doesn't start up straight away into the title screen at all. It just starts out um, straight into the information setup stuff. So let's just jump right into it anyway, see what happens. Is it my fault? Hi, Upworkers. Before this video starts, I want to thank my patrons that you see right here for helping out with financial support for this channel as well as the production of more content. If you would like to join these lovely patrons, head over to the Patreon link in the description and pledge a couple bucks a month. Yeah, enjoy the video. Are you there? Yep, there it is. Are we connected? Okay. Excellent. Oh my. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. Oh. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Hi, Upworkers. I'm Jalen Falf, and welcome back to... Wait, this isn't Undertale, but it feels like Undertale. This is Delta Rune. Recently announced back in late October, Halloween-ish. So you're just gonna see me for the first couple minutes picking out my character. I think I like this guy. Cause this is classic. This is a classic car that I remember. Select the torso that you prefer. In the pockets? No thank you. So let's see. I think I like this one. Select the legs that you prefer. They're all different, but I'm just gonna go for the first one anyways. This is your body. Do you accept it? Yes, I do. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? I will go with soft. Your favorite blood type. Why favorite when I know it's gonna be my own? Cut to the next segment, please. What color does it like most? Blue. Please give it a gift. I'm gonna give it ambition, because you'll kind of guess why. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Love. Have you answered honestly? No, let me try this again. Oh, wait. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Understood. Name your vessel. I'm gonna be... I could always be classic, but... I think... What name could I use for this little guy? Ah! 
I'm sorry, it's just tend- I'm sorry, it's just tendencies. I didn't mean to. We called it Kara. And what about the creator? Oh, my own name. That's kind of obvious to say. But since there's no space in this one, I might as well just do this. Jalen Falf. Excellent. Truly excellent. Jalen Falf. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. What? No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris! Oh my god, Toriel! Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. I will wait outside for you, alright? Oh. My. God. So, from my understanding, this is either... This was meant to be played by people who have completed Undertale, and... From my understanding, it almost seems like a spin-off or a sequel to Undertale in some sense. If not a sequel, then I assume a spin-off. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. What else? Clothes drawer. Okay. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. It's a beautiful day outside. Okay. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. Your bed. I can't do anything about that, so let's just move on. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded and there's no green. Huh. It's only you. Wow. The door is locked. Oh, okay. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. By Gerson Boom. Gerson. That's a character we encountered in Undertale in the waterfall section. He owned a shop near um, Undyne's house. So this kind of does feel like Undertale in a sense. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys body spray. Spray for the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. Oh, it's a toilet, flush it. It's good to conserve water. Well, let's just do it anyway. See what happens. You flush the toilet. <laughs> On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Okay, so we are living with Goat Mom, in a sense. So, to say the least, this is actually starting to look pretty good. What else do we got? There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Oh. Oh. What? There is some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamony batter cake on the stovetop. Oh. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. What else we got? It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. 
Oh! Okay, it's Cherry, all the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Okay. And we can't do anything with that chair. It's a book of hymns. All right. So I don't think anything else matters. Wait. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Asriel visits next week. Asriel! But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Huh. Okay. Okay. Aww, little hug from Goat Mom. And I can and I automatically go to. Okay. So, does everyone have a. Oh my god, that's Alphys! That's Dr. Alphys from Undertale! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? All right. Chris! Oh, uh, Chris! Oh, I'm uh, very sorry, Tim, I already have partner. It's a black and white hard-boiled egg. Sadly, seems like it already has a partner. Oh my god. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Oh my god. Partner? I hardly know her. Ha ha ha. What do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. Oh my god. Okay, so from what I understand from the lore of Un for the lore from the storyline behind the Undertale. Toriel wanted to be a teacher when she went up, went to the, when she, uh. From what I understand in the, um, what is it? From what I understand from the lore of Undertale, Toriel wanted to be a teacher when she, when the, when the barrier was broken by Asriel and the monsters got to go up to the world, to the, to the overworld, AKA the human world, she ended up becoming a teacher. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot of this assignment. Pfft, not. I actually want to get an A. So, wow. Chris, you know, Jockington and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Oh God, a snake. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Oh wow. All right, how about you? Hey Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with the lights on it? Huh? You wanna be partners? Um, sorry. Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alphys if we could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Yet. What? What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. A animated schoolwork and... Hey, Chris! Have you chosen a partner yet? Oh, pff, Alphys is watching anime. Do you want to be partners? Yes. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve this. Abort! What? But, but Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noelle, can you please speak up? Oh my god. Hi, Susie. 
the fives. It's the silent type, I see. Mm -hmm. Am I late? <laughs> oh, n no, you're fine. We, we were just uh, choosing partners for the next group project, and um, Susie, you're with Chris. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> the smile. N now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Oh my god. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and... You all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Anyone, please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noelle. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. Oh, wow! Rude. And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she... Um, actually gets it and, um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. All right, off I go. Oh, what? <gasps> what the? Chris didn't see you there. Oh my, hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. You can't even say. Chris? Oh, what? What? Hey. Let me tell you a secret. What the f- Quiet people piss me off. What? You think just because you don't say anything? I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel... ...about losing your face? What? Nah. Chris... You've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. All right, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then, Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Good. Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. Nice fourth wall break. What, what else is up? Are you ready for the Sadie Hawksman da Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any student that makes make contact while dancing. And that's it. All right. Oh my, what, what? God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand? Come on, freak. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Oh. Hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's the holdup, Chris? Are you going to go in or what? Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... 
We'll both go in at the same time. Ugh. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. Alright. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Okay. So now what? Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Ah, strange. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Oh my... <gasps> what? What the... Hey! This isn't funny! Let us out! Let us... Wh what? The floor, it's... Oh my... What the actual... Oh. I'm awake, but I look different somehow. Okay. Okay. At times you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Oh. What? 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 My menu changed. This doesn't feel right at all. Oh, oh, my. Okay. Okay, it's just some weird things happening. What the? In the corner, right there. Who was that? Who the hell was that? Some strange things happening down here. Eyes. What? There it is again! What the fuck? They can't hear me. There's something glowing inside. Take it? Yes. You got the glow shard. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Oh, now that one's red. Okay, that's freaky. That's a new concept. You bathed your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. Oh, so that- so this area back here would have been where we got hurt, and then this would have been- would have been a decent way to save us. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. So we're blocked off. But remember the hint. Only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. So now if we were to do this, then I suspect we start like this, then go like that, and this. Oh, there it is. There it is! Alright, seems simple enough. Okay. Oh, but now there's a bleeding eye. What the hell? What 
What the hell are these things? What the hell was that? There it is again! What the- Hey! But back off! Come any closer and I'll- Oh? Chris? Phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Um, where is here anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You got us out. Lead the way, Chris. All right, I shall. I suppose she gets impatient after a while. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. And she rushes. Fascinating. What an impatient little monster she is. What the heck? Hey, Chris, there's something, someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? What? What? Whoa! Run, Chris! Oh my god. Get away, get away, get away. Stop, stop! Don't do this! Stop! Whoa, Nelly! This is an this is insane. Chris, down here. Oh my god, it, it Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so we're we're safe now. But I got hit. So I hope there's something to help help me heal later on. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. She's gonna block the probably she's gonna block the path until Oh! What are these? It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. Oh! It's locked. Oh my. It's locked. Now, if I recall correctly, some of the towns in um, Undertale actually had stuff like this, but not these houses. At least I don't think. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. And so, we continue. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Oh? Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. I like how the text is like that. Like, almost golden. The Kingdom of Darkness. Chris. Susie. There is a legend in this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. I shall listen. Very well, then. Oh, we're going to a cutscene. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light. It was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Delta Rune. Whoa! For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror. 
and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at World's Edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. What? Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. Wow! Today, the fountain of darkness. The geyser that gives this land form stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Oh. My. Chris. Susie. Thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. What? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, but Susie, without you, the, the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Oh. Okay. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait! Ho, ho, ho! The heroes are already running away! And they didn't even know I was here! My dad's gonna make me son of the month! Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. You clowns want to seal our dark fountain, huh? And still picture you guys as clowns save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Mm -hmm. Eh, don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Oh my god! Oh, so we still have a lot of all of this stuff. So let's warning him. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. Halt, clowns! The spike is filled by victory! Wow. Don't know how I got an axe, but, like, that's cool. No, I do not want to fight. Let's try compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Oh my god. Oh, you make my feelings do wheelies. Sweet wheelies. Lancer's riding it out. Okay, defend. So what are you guys doing after this? Lancer switches gears randomly to appear competent. Defend, please. This is something new, the defense system. Oh, I'm the bad guy! Wait, wait a second! My bike's running out of fuel! Alright, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but... Next time, the losers will be you! Ha ha ha! Bye, losers! I gotta get home before dinner. Oh, wow. $39? That's a new thing. That's a new thing. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. 
I am. Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, all right. <gasps> Hello, everyone. I'm Rousey. Oh my god, that is so cute! <laughs> I've seen a lot of this character all across the internet. I didn't even re- I- I- I could see why now. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us then. Chris, I'm a prince, but I, um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here, um, my whole life for you two to arrive. So, I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure's over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake! Alright, so... So our prince friend over here... Rousey the Lonely Prince is now your ally. The power of Fluffy Boys shines within you. Yes, Fluffy Boys! Let's just keep going then, shall we? Er, uh, Chris, you know you can hold X to run? Really? Right. You'll move faster by holding X. And I'll be right behind you, so don't worry. Unless you want to get away, in which case, sorry. Oh, Chris, it's the training dummy I made. Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Yes, please. Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world. There's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Good job, Chris. By the way, you'll do more damage. Pressing Z, Z when the cursor enters the box on the left. Okay, next let's try defending. Simply defend, and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Great job, Chris! Now that you've gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now, if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. And pacify! Great, Chris! We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting! Through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a hug? All right. Give it a hug. You hug the dummy. Aw, that's great, Chris. Each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If we spare all the enemies we meet, we'll never have to fight. Let's spare. Chris spared. Great job, Chris! That'd be the end in a real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. So that's it. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And, uh, in case you ever need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu and use it in your items. You got the manual. You 
tried to read the manual, but it was so dense it made your head spin. Oh! So I can't talk to Rousey, okay. Oh my, the great door is opened! No wonder Lancer was able to come through! Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, all right? And let us pass through. Okay, so this is interesting. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. So, what now? As we continue through this dense forest. Enemies ahead, you're going to die. Signed, Lancer. Oh, Lancer was here! Oh my. Rudin drew near. Rogan attacks sex defense zero. This ambivalent diamond isn't any girl's best friend. Shine, shine. Rudin thinks about elaborate stones. Convince. Just defend. You told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Smells like jewelry. Chris spared Rudin. So there you go. That's how fighting likes. So as we continue forward... I assume Lancer. If you're reading this, I guess you're dead. Signed, Lancer. I'm alive! How in the hell? That doesn't make any sense. Oh well. We tried. Oh, oh you? Oh, if it isn't my two favorite people. Psych! You guys aren't even in my top five. Lancer, where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? Ha ha ha. You fools. You're too late to stop me. What'd you do? Haha, <laughs> it was so simple! She beat me up, so I ran away. That's a bit anticlimactic. Okay. Hey, don't read this sign. It's a work in progress. Signed, Lancer. <laughs> I read it anyway. What are you gonna do? Hey, if you head that way, my troops will thrash you. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. Then let's go this way. These types of trees don't contain an item that can heal you. Whatever you do, don't check the tree and use C to open your menu. You got it? Signed, Lancer. Alright, there are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one. Yes. You got the dark candy. There's a candy hanging from the tree. Take one. Yes. You got the dark candy. There's nothing hanging low enough to take. Alright. So we got ourselves some, ho some healing, healing items. That's worth it. Just move my mic a little closer so you guys can actually hear me better. But yeah. Oh, there's two of them now. A necklace of ruins blocks your path. So convince. And just defend. You told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Face my diamond cutter. So convince, and defend. 
You told Rune to quit fighting. Rune dislikes his boss, but doesn't care enough to quit. So I'm going to go ahead and spare, and then spare. Chris spared Rodin, Rousey spared Rodin. Alright, so see how that works with two with with, a, with an ally behind your back? Looks like it works. Mama Mipa, I'm top chef! My latest cake worked me to exhaustion! So I took a little nap, but Mama Mipa, a scary noise woke me up! A beast was hunched on the table, eating the cake like an animal! I spiritized it with water, and it hissed and ran off, but my wonderful cake is... Aw, oh, Chris, that sounds like Susie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. The remains of the cake are still smoldering. Take a piece. Ah, eh, whatever. Broken cake was added to your key items. The remains of the cake are still smoldering. Alright, so key items. I do have to face these guys. Rudin and Haffy! Alright. So let's convince Rudy, Rudine, and can't use any magic yet, so I'm going to defend. Actually, item. No. Heal prayer. Wait, I, I don't have the power. Defend. Flatter. And spare Rudin. You called Happy a sweetheart and began to think about this. Rousey spared Rudin. Smells like a soft kiss. Okay. Chris spared Happy. Alright, so I'm going to pause for a moment and use some dark candy. Just for that much. There are two objects hanging from the tree. It looks like more candy. Got the dark candy. Uh, is there more around here, or is that just the only one? I think that's the only one. Alright, what's this? Check the clock. In order to solve this puzzle, you'll have to hurry. Oh god, so I do need to run for this. Alright, so that worked. Alright. So there's more to this. Behold, the maze of death. Prepare to get lost, clowns. Signed, Lancer. Alright, so... With that, that's going to do it for today's episode of Deltarune. Well, the preview edition, chapter one, well, chapter one at least. Hopefully when I come back next time we see each other, we'll have some more action. Actually, no, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. I'm already liking this game as it is. Feeling lost yet? You must be utterly helpless among these twists and turns. Your sense of direction won't save you now. Signed, Lancer. He's antagonizing us already. Hey, wait, where am I? Help! Somebody help! I'm lost! Signed Lancer. Jeez! No, you're not! I just saw this. You opened the treasure chest. Inside was white ribbon. Put white ribbon in your armors. That ribbon is armor, Chris. It increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment menu? I think it looked great on you. Alright, so equip. I'll take that. And I've got nothing. Alright. 
So that's it. Moving on. Oh, it's down here. More stuff. Let me come back to it, see if there's anything down here of interest. Whoa, wait a minute. Even if you're my enemy, I've got to warn you. A purple beast is roaming, clobbering anyone who dares block her way. We don't even like fighting. The king left us no choice. Oh, Chris, we need to stop Susie, quick! Oh my god, so Susie really is a brutal beast. Hey, don't look! This sign's private, signed Lancer. Is it now? Oh, it's just this way, signed Lancer. Oh, -ho -ho! somehow you survived the maze! But don't count your blessings before they hatch. Let's see how you fare against this team. Three happies. Alright, so flatter. You ordered Rousey to flatter all the enemies. Out of anyone, I'm glad we randomly encountered all of you. Hey, why aren't you guys thrashed? You're totally outnumbered. You made a team purely of support enemies. Their bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made out of three glasses of milk. And that's, um, unusual somehow. Why don't we talk about this after the battle? Oh, so we can spare them all. All right, Chris spared Happy. Rousey spared Happy. Oh, so Happy's a little bit. Chris spared Happy. I think his point was. We earned zero XP and eighty-nine dollar. Sweet. How much do I get? You lost, Lancer. You don't get any. Oh. Can I have some of yours? No. Fine. Later, losers. What a brat he is. Sup? I thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. What a lazy butt, too. Alright, so let's just hurry this up. Nope, it's not worth it. Alright, that's not gonna work! Help! Um, Chris, I think we might be missing something. Maybe we should try going to the next room? Oh, what? Ugh, open up, you stupid door! Oh, great, it's you guys. Susie, we were ever so worried about you. Um, how'd you get past those spikes before? Walked through them. But this door sucks. Aw, oh, don't worry, Susie. It'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice. Tell me when you finish it. Uh, Susie, we need you to finish it. Sometimes proceeding will take all three of us. Furthermore, only Chris can seal the dark fountain. So if you don't come to copy us, you won't make it home. So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? Yup. Let's just get this over with. Yahoo! Susie's back on the team! Cue the fanfare! Susie joined the party. Oh my god! Susie follows at a distance such that no one can tell she's associated. Oh my god! Alright, so let's try this again. Sounded like a door opened. Alright, now we got something. Oh, Chris, I just realized Susie missed the tutorial. Next battle, we should show her how to act. I think she might really enjoy that. C round attack violently. You recall Rouse's advice to include Susie in the act. Order compliment.
You order Susie to flatter the enemy. What? Why the hell would I do that? It attacked us! Let's smash it before it moves! Aw, oh, look, Susie, it seems harmless. If you act nice, we might win without hurting it. Okay, okay. Hey, little guy. I really like the axe in your face. Where'd you get it? <laughs> um, Chris, maybe I should talk to her? Well, at least I tried. <laughs> I sneaked by and made a sign. Signed, Lancer. Jeez. Um, Susie, I suppose you missed what I said earlier. As heroes, we have the power to make a peaceful future. So from now on, let's try to avoid fighting, okay? Um, what if you just took it easy on them? If you weaken an enemy, I can use my pacify spell, which can put exhausted people to sleep. Ugh, yeah, you already- you talking is already doing that. Well, just think about it. I might have to warn enemies about her, Chris. Hey, hey, kid. You wanna buy a tutorial? It's only 50 dark dollars. Uh, sure. Really? You'll really buy it? Eh, <laughs> right this way, gentlers. Okay, then. We're sorry, we're normally puzzle guys, but... We've been forced to do tutorials just to make ends meet. When the king got power, he fired everyone and replaced all puzzle makers with him. Rolls card, Lord of the Puzzles, be careful. I'm TP Master, ask me about TPs. Later, kid. Alright. I'm Rousey Master, ask me about Rousey's. Later, kid. Rousey should have told me about that. I'm Susie Master, ask me about Susie's! When Chris uses warning, Susie can't hit, so make sure to... So there's no reason to use it. Unless, unless you want it not to hurt. So there's no reason! <laughs> wow! I'm Chris Master, ask me about Chris's! When HP goes negative, your friends fall down. But bringing them back is easy town. Plain foods and spells work like a charm. And with a mint, you can cure all harm. Even normal items and spells can revive people, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alright. So what now? Whole goals. $1 monthly tutorial weekly. $10 monthly tutorial monthly. $100 stop making tutorials! <laughs> Donation hole. If you like our tutorials, please throw your money into a hole. Do not. You decided to save the dollar for a different hole. Alright, I'm happy right now. What's up with the shop? Hee hee, welcome travelers! I'll take one dark burger. Amber card. And another dark burger. What kind of junk you got? Alright, give me an item. I will tell you my glow shard. Thanks for that. And I'm done with that. You don't have anything. What armor will you give me? Alright, let me hold off on that. Because now I can... I can't buy Spooky Sword. Shit. Alright, so just a dark burger it is, and a dark candy. See you again. Or not. Ha ha ha. Alright, let me just do something here. Susie, the Violent Tormentor is now your ally. The power of Mean Girl shines within you. Oh my god! So now what's this? It's a lone door frame, but for some reason you can't see through it. Oh my god. Oh, there you are! Well, flip my flapjacks! The clowns are back in town! Well, bad news! Since you last saw me several minutes ago, I've created a brand new fighting team ready to stomp you! Not even the purple girl can stop me now! Uh -huh. Are you ready to be... Stop. Stop talking. Ho ho ho? What is that? Why are you saying that? Ho ho ho? It's my evil laugh! Scary, right? 
You sound like baby Santa Claus. Uh, you mean like in a badass way? Shut up! You really think you know how to be scary? Well, I... Wrong. Man, wannabe tough guys like you really piss me off. Face it, you wouldn't know scary. If it picked you up and bit your face off... That's not true! Oh, really? Then why don't we prove it? We'll start with the part where your face gets bit off. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Thank you, purple girl. What? Thanks, it was kind of you to teach me how to be scary with an evil laugh. Hey, I wasn't... And now... You're going to be thrashed. <laughs> Merry Christmas! I guess that's kind of an improvement. <laughs> Alright, a board of Jigsaurus blocked the way. So, warning. You and Rousey warned the enemies about Susie. Everyone went on guard. Put up your dupes! Bobo fighting? I love... Oh, what the fuck? Smells like cardboard. Alright, befriend. Defend. You barely lifted a finger, and... Alright, you win. Let's be friends. I always wanted a friend just like you. We're friends now. La -la -la. Chris spared Jigsaurie. Rousey spared Jigsaurie. We're friends now! Alright, I have nothing else to do. Chris spared. Alright, so basically, our friend Susie's gonna be just the attacker of the team. Oh, what the? Oh, look! Chris! Another puzzle! Oh, no. Let's read the instructions. Huh? The instructions are vandalized! It says, Thou fools, thou will never figure it out now! Ruining instructions, that's definitely against the rules. Then it, um, says, P.S. I'll make my own rules. R.K. Well, that explains that. Why don't we just climb over the spiked fence? Um, because then we get impaled and die? Cool. I'll work on that and you do the puzzle. Um, try your best, Chris. And run! Okay, this is just gonna be useless, so don't look at me, Chris. Puzzle's your job. Along with everything else I don't want to do. Alright. How about you, Rousey? You want to help? It should be simple, Chris. Press the boxes onto the switches with Z. Oh, the boxes. Wait, who the hell is... Oh, my God. Okay, so now... Now there's... Now this makes sense. Okay. Great job, Chris. I think you're onto something. Hey, Chris. Give up whenever you feel like it. It's all good. Oh, I'm not giving up. This is the fate of the world we're talking about here. Wahoo, you did it, Chris. Great job. Damn, didn't get to impale myself. Oh, well, come on, chumps. Good job, Chris. So there's more on the way, huh? Now, if we keep going up, what happens? Eh, let's come back. Because we got this guy to worry about. Various guys appear. Alright. You and Rousey warned the enemies about Susie. Everyone went on guard. Alright. So let's get happy. 
two. We're flatter. You called Hathia sweetheart. I began to think about this. All right, so I'm gonna have some difficulty here. All right, convince. You told Rodan to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. All right, so Rodan, convince, magic, heal, prayer. On self. You told Rodan to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Rousey cast heal prayer. Press spared. Rousey spared. Alright, so that's it. Okay, so that's going to something. Let me just step back for a moment and just go this way, see if there's anything up, up this way. From the bottom, the order of our rooms in Card Castle. Of course, if you haven't been there, you won't know it. Okay, so this is a puzzle. We will have to run our way that way. Oh, and we got this guy. Don't! Ah. Yeah, I got the white one. Alright, so this is where we're going to be finding our solution to the puzzle. So let's see what we got. When you step into the light, you'll return to where you were before. Okay. So i got to be careful here. Alright, so that kind of makes sense now. But then... Watch this. Uh-oh. Oh, we got something here. You and Rousey warned the enemies about Susie. Everyone went on guard. So we really have to do this to these guys. Rousey sang a soft and entrancing lullaby. Pawn Man fell asleep. Susie fell asleep. The enemies, be enemies became tired. So to 
defend, and we'll pacify this guy. Rousey cast pacify. Alright, so I took care of that now. Alright, any more pawn men coming up? I don't think so. Nope. So nada. Alright, so we're back to the light puzzle again. And go. Alright, so it's just us three. Oh, what the fuck? Uh -huh. See, you've begun to cross the great board. Halfway point to our castle. Impressive. So it's a shame. You won't make it a step further. Because my guys are about to smash you into blood! Lots of blood. Splooshing blood. Very gross and bad. Hey, purple girl, was that scarier? Why are you asking me? Because you're really cool at being terrifying. I want to be as scary as you. You? Want to be like me? Yeah! Well, that's stupid. But, um, the new laugh isn't as awful. And saying you'd turn us into blood is, uh, cool. What the hell is up with the bucket, though? It's to put the blood in! Oh. Yeah, I'm not, uh, supposed to make a mess. Anyway, thanks for your feedback. I'm really feeling scary. Um, no problem, I guess. So are you guys gonna attack us, or...? Oh, yeah. I was so excited I forgot to bring any guys. But next time, it'll be the end for... Hey, I've just been calling you guys clowns. Is your team an official name or something? Oh, Chris, we should come up with a name. No, we shouldn't. Then it's decided. Everyone puts a name in the bucket. Alright, everyone's put their put in their entries. Blue person you can choose. Since you look like you don't care. <laughs> okay, um Okay, we got crumpled paper, neat paper, or lancer labeled paper. <laughs> I'm gonna just be a jokester and go lancer labeled paper just cuz. You take the paper with lancer written on the outside, you open it up. On the inside, it also says Lancer! Wow, who did that one? It's really good. Wait, why do you get to choose the name? Hey, he did. Chris did. Yeah, it doesn't matter who may have written it. Regardless, Lancer's gonna meet absolute doom. This name feels weird, actually. Hmm. I know. Let's call it the Lancer Fan Club for short. See you later, me. Okay. Power of the Lancer Fan Club shines within you. Holy shit. Um... Okay, I have a feeling some pawn men are gonna... Oh. Nope! I thought that would work. Nope. New idea. I'm surprised that the that Rousey and Susie aren't being affected by the light. But it's all just patience or timing, rather. Although you guys may have different methods of trying. I mean. I have my own, you guys have your own. Alright, what next? Oh, pawn men coming. So let's start start by warning. Oh, 
Plus, a lullaby would have worked. It's just the same anyways. So just take a dark candy, and Ral- uh, for me, and Ralsei can use Pacify on Pawn Man. Use the dark candy, cast Pacify. Alright, so that takes care of that. I think all the Pawn Men are done, seems like, because there's no one in there. Except for that one, I bet. Nope. That's it. Oh. Whoa there, horsey! Pawnmen are scary, but all in they're doing is following the king. Us on the board used to have our own boss. Those were peaceful times. But now, even the boss has been reduced to the king's pound. Fear not. We, unlike the simple pawnmen, possess full faculty over our actions. I, Mr. Society, am far too intelligent to ever bow down to such a tyrant. Unless he asks me, he's very scary, you see. Let's just keep going. Hopefully, something better happens. Oh, you again. Oh, oh, well, step on my boots. It isn't the Lancer fan club. You boys or girls had better turn back while you can. Lancer, what is it this time? Oh, oh I'm simply warning you. Something extremely dangerous is lying ahead. It's actually really inconvenient. I can't go home at all because I'm so scared. What is it? Oh, hey, little guy. That? That's what you're afraid of? Wow, purple girl. You aren't scared? Yeah, why would I be? What's it gonna do? Well, normally... What? It crushes people to death, I think. Morning. What? Keep bowing. <laughs> Susie, stop attacking it! You're making it stronger! and let it think I'm afraid? No way. Alright, keep bowing. I'm gonna need to use some dark candy. Or rather, yeah, dark candy. On... Chris, then again on Susie. All right, let's just take a bow. One more bow should do it. And it rolls away. We, we did it? Wow, you clowns really are heroes. You saved the next 20 minutes of my life. Yeah, yeah, I am pretty great, huh? 
Um, Susie, not to downplay your contributions, but you didn't actually help at all. You only made everything worse by attacking it. If you had just acted nice to it in the first place, we could have avoided that entire battle. Huh, are you for real? That thing was bloodthirsty! The only thing keeping it at my bay, at bay was my axe. And earlier, you terrorized those troops. Those guys were enemies. They're for terrorizing. Yeah, she's right. And before that, you ate an innocent person's cake. Cakes are also my enemy. Susie, whether you like it or not, you're a hero. One with the power to bring peace to the future. Could you please start acting like one? Yeah, when you lay it out like that, I've been a pretty bad hero, haven't I? All right, Rousey, you got it. I'll change my ways. From now on, I won't be such a rotten hero anymore. I'll just be one of the bad guys instead. What? Really? You're going to be on my team? Yeah, sounds way easier, honestly. Susie, you can't just... Quiet, toothpaste boy. Susie is my comrade now. Yeah, toothpaste boy. We're going to have monogram trap jackets. Yeah. And sleepovers, where we tell each other secrets. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, see you guys never. If you can even last that long. Chris, perhaps I shouldn't have been so hard on her. But I just worry that if Susie is too eager to fight, then, well, let's just be kind to her, okay, Chris? I'm sure Susie will come around soon. There's more to this. The blocky foliage grows thick above your head. The power of the forest shines within you. Hey, kid, we managed to fix up this old thingamajig for you. It's some kind of door. It can take you anywhere you want in the world. As long as that's one of two locations. Anywho, we'll keep working on it. Anything to help you out, kid? Whoa there, horsey! Mrs. Society and the Puzzle Guy fixed that door. Since it was just the three of us, it should work without any issues. Anyhow, hope that it'll help us to deal with the king. It's a door. Where will you go? Uh... Amazingly, you are already there. Alright. So I guess with that... I'm just gonna stop here. That's basically going to do it for Deltarune. Hopefully next time we see each other, let's continue through more of the forest. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, leave a like, post your comments, hit subscribe to that notification bell, share this video with your friends, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time.